guys, Fluffy Puma here. Wild Firebird here. And we're back in the Hell House. That's what I'm gonna call it. <laughs> yeah. The Hell House. Seri new series name, Hell House. This isn't curse anymore, this is Hell House. Yeah, and we don't, like, it's a good game, it's just... <laughs> yeah. I keep waiting for Mary to come, like... <laughs> I know. Soul. Oh, no. 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 You better not make us grab it, game. I will smack you. These old spirit boards were used to communicate with the dead. Why? Using a spirit board in a haunted house. That's your death sentence. You just signed your death Best warrant. Best idea ever. Oh, so now I have it on my person. I still haven't found the key for the other chest or that. If it makes us use it. Oh, okay. Just need to find somewhere to use the board. There's no table. Oh. Oh. No. <laughs> Someone must pay. Someone must pay. <laughs> I can't it's move. a manifestation. Kill me. Oh, Chris. Okay. While I was so using that very board. board. Oh, We're going voice ahead. acting. Ask me your question, but it will do, do you no good. good. Right there, can I not just look at him and go, So, how you been? Who are you? Because of her. Well, that's a no dur. We knew the answers to that. Well, what do you think? We, I think he's Chris, but you know, we might want to as well double check. I know he's Chris. Look, see? H, H I R. Uh. Okay, letters. I'm Christopher, or Chris. Christopher. No more questions for now. It's gonna make us take it back, isn't it? Say goodbye and leave. Goodbye. Let me tell you the difference, okay? When you say goodbye, okay, there's, there's a big difference. When you use a board, let's not take the fucking spirit. Is that make us? When you say goodbye, that is telling the manifestations, or the, um, it's telling the spirits that you no longer need them to be in that area, or in, you know, you don't need them there anymore. 
if you just tell them to, oh, now we have purging. If you just get up and leave without saying goodbye, that's pretty much telling the spirits, hey, come on in. You know, you can live in my house and haunt me forever and curse me. That's what that's saying. And that's what they do. You have like... to be very careful and very specific with spirits. This looks like the first painting of Journey to the West. What, what the fucking picture are you talking about? It's on the, it's the book. There's a note tucked between the pages of this book. What does it say? Oh. It's from Chris. We're gonna die. Read the note. Greetings, truth seekers. Christopher Kolchak here, leader of the Wallace Paranormal Investigations. It's day one of our investigation into the mysterious Atherton Manor, and we're off to a bit rocky start. It seems the spirits are up to no good, as usual. All of our equipment is powerless, save for a single phonograph in the front of the vestibule. I read about a couple running a Gamma-rama like this over in Europe. Michael thinks the power could be caused by electromagnetic interference from below the house. Who knows? The phonograph message would have been a fantastic selling point for the documentary. It was convincing and downright spooky. The only problem is we're unable to shoot any video, so these notes will have to be my only record of these events from when we for when we get back. I really hope this place isn't a scam. This old manor house was way too has way too much character. All the creaks and groans echo down every hall. Sometimes it almost sounds like a woman crying. I kid you not. Mary. If all the rumors were true, and all of those people really did die here, I say go for it, ghosties. I've been dying to conduct an actual exorcism on a legitimate haunted house. Crap. I'll write again later. Something's going on with Michael. Later days. Chris Kolchak, Paranormal Investigations Lead. Yes, I had to Michael. Oh. It was like back in the first notes, but I forget it. Then he say he got sick or something. Yeah, he got he like, like nauseous or something. Yeah. I can't remember. I know she died, he died, but it never really talked. She never really talked about what happened to Michael and the other person that was there. Yeah, because that wasn't another girl. Yeah, but I don't think they gave her name yet. I wonder if he feels the same now. <laughs> I don't think so. Leave the note. Yeah, let's leave the note. I hope we're getting on the nose. Anything else in the cabinet? Who knows? The drawer is unlocked. Good. Open it. Oh, the chest. Uh, the Greek magical papyri. <laughs> These are odd books to be found in a parlor. My nose itch. Just thought of that. Jeff. The chest. Oh, it's oh, a book. It's a book. Another note tucked between the pages. It's gonna be a blank one, and then Mary's gonna come eat us. Or try to, at least. Can I see the note? Game. There we go. Okay. What? Greetings and salutations. What a night. It seems our tech lead, Ma Michael, managed to get a pretty bad fright in one of the bathrooms last night. That He darted straight for the front doors, only to find the entire house locked up tight. He even tried to shatter a window with no luck. Oh, I would have some. <laughs> Mike says he saw something in the mirror in that bathroom that was beyond rational explanation and inexplicably horrible. Uh, my the first thought was that someone was playing us, but after a ton of attempts to debunk it, I think we may have a live one here. I found an antique spirit board in the parlor. I bet this thing has a ton of mojo in it. I'm not going to do a full bloom in invocation of the spirits tonight and find out exactly what they want. If I don't want, like what I hear, I'm going to order them to leave. Tosh has been incredibly uneasy since we arrived. I knew we, when we hired her, she was skittish, but she takes the psychic stuff way too seriously. All these attention-getting tactics are obviously a cry for help from the spirits trapped within. I told John, so we have John, Michael, Chris, and Tasha. And Tasha. I told John to research all the books in the library for any information on the former departed residents in the manor itself. I told Tasha to give him a hand. Now, if only I could find a private part place where Tasha won't give me the stink eye. I might try to try warming up the warming up the spirit board a little. See what I can dig up. Wish me luck. Let's see. Chris found the spirit board, but I suspect he was set up. The spirits wanted him to find it, probably. Yeah, as he wanted us to find it. Mm-hmm. Using the spirit board here was a bad idea. It's like you just used it. 
Maybe you found some clues, though. Hope I find another note. We're gonna find another note. I'm kind of waiting to find a blank one like we did before with Tasha. Buddy, you want to come back and talk to us for a minute? I still don't. I think he meant the globe, but I haven't seen a globe. That's the thing. Like, I don't know. Am I? Where am I going now? Be over here. Yeah, as I say, I was supposed to say we'd be there because that's like the only place I haven't been. Oh yeah, yeah. Another note. I was like. My first thought was that that bottom of the table was like a dead body. Mm. The original copy of the Black Pullet. Amazing. Uh, I've never heard of that. The parlor. This parlor is a treasure trove. Another note from Christopher. It's gonna be blank. It says we're gonna die. Nope. Dear spirits. Atherton Manor. Why are you writing to the spirits? Because he is. Okay. Can you please tell Tasha that you're harmless? She walked in on me with the spirit born in the kitchen. I must have made contact with a real talk. I had just made contact with a real talker of an entity named Mary Chauncer. Tasha scared the crap out of me before, before I could even say goodbye, then proceeded to give me a stern talking to about the dangers of this place. Tasha is really bumming out. See, look, before he could even say goodbye. Oh! You say goodbye, and then the spirits can't get to you. You do not say goodbye, you're letting the spirits come in. So basically, it's, it's Tasha's fault. <laughs> Technically, yes. It's a shame, too, because I was really making progress on what is keeping these spirits bound here. This Mary chick seems to like us. I didn't mention it to Tasha, but Mary is very fond of her in particular. She said she reminds her of someone named Eve Atherton. Eve was Edgar's wife. I, re I read that Eve was quite the fox back in the day, so I'm kind of unsure why Mary would think Tasha reminded her of Eve. I hope Tasha doesn't read any of this. Mary also spelled out the word fireplace several times, and I knew immediately where to look. I left what I found there for safekeeping. Tasha made me promise not to use the board again until tonight, but she can but she can bet I'm going to ask Mary about what was in the fireplace when I can. It's like the old saying goes, the devil is in the de the devil is in the details. Chris Kolchak, Paranormal Investigation Lead. You're a dumb boy. You are a very dumb boy. Mary Chaucer, Chaucer, I don't know how to say that name, Chaucer. contacting her was a mistake. It cost him his life, but he was able to gain some valuable information. Well, he didn't say it's, goodbye. Mm, he referenced the item in the fireplace. I have, I have got to get in there. Assuming Mary wasn't lying to him. No, because he said he found something in there. No, she wasn't lying because she said he said that he found the item. And she was originally fine with them, but they pissed her off. No, they didn't piss her off. Something. I think it was whatever happened to her. So, I've been everywhere now. I just don't know where to go. And I can't look back. Which kind of frightens me a little. Will it be a book? Yep. Well, another note. Sorry, guys. Uh, creepy I just got off work, so I'm, like, a little tired. There's another note. Any more notes? Skeeted away? Secreted away, Chris? I want to know that mi what mysteries you revealed. Nothing, because he died before he could do it. Oh. Maybe it's this blinking book. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. <laughs> the closer we get to the seance and talking with Mary again, the weirder things get around here. It's like dealing with an addict. The spirits want our help to move on, but won't go out with go, won't go out with a kicking and screaming when it's actually offered. Over the last hour, the entire manor feels like it contracted a giant belly ache. Floorboards creak, door hinges moan, the wind howls through the drafty old corridors, and a chilly, a chill slowly creeps from room to room. The weather outside is kicking up bad, too. Lightning and thunder boom in the near distance. It's becoming a little gnarly, to be honest. 
As I was investigating some interesting stuff, I found in the parlor closet, I heard a scratching noise from the main room. I swore I caught the, the planchette flying around the spirit board by itself. When I walked over, a chill ran over me so bad that I nearly pulled a Michael and bailed out. Geez, if Tasha hadn't seen that, had seen that, she'd be downstairs preparing her I told you so speech. Too bad for her, she'll have to save it. Once the seance is done, we'll have all the information we need to put the spirits at peace. All of these Scooby-Doo special effects are just Mary acting out of fear of moving on. I don't get what Tasha's so afraid of. I swear that girl reads too many Stephen King books. <laughs> Worst case scenario, Mary throws a fit and we get pelted by some books. It's not like she's going to kill us. Well, you're, you're wrong. So that's four references? Did you count Scooby-Doo? I did. Okay. Scooby-Doo, Skyrim, Stephen King, Freddy Fazbear at the very beginning. That's four. The seance must have released Mary's spirit. Yes, it did. And sealed their fate. Yes, it did. I'm sorry, Chris. You seemed like a nice guy. No, he didn't. He's just a goof nut. Okay, I keep finding all the notes. Does, do I get to find the book? books look old like something is wedged in between the pages. The key! Oh, the, that book looks odd. Like something. That one? Yeah. That one right there that's blinking? The key. Huh, the key. Hidden under the book's cover. What's the book called? Hidden all for the world to know. Take the key and place it within your backpack. It's, well, it's either the chest <laughs> key or it's either the fireplace well, key. Well, we had to check later. Because the phone told us it was time to end. It's to the other chest. Yeah. And it just saved. Yep. Good. Perfect. Well, guys, I guess we're going to call yeah. it a, a day here with this episode. Yep. As always, thank you guys so much for coming and watching us make fools of ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm Fluffy Puma. I'm Wild Firebird. And we will see y'all later. Bye. Bye.